Hello friend, myself Sanjay Mutt, assistant professor for mechanical engineering department of Alchand Institute of Technology, Solapur. Today I am explaining the orthopic projection of a simple object. The outcome, learning outcome for this topic is student will able to draw the orthopic projection of a simple object. So here I am showing the simple object. In the previous video, I am showing the same planes are there. So some added uh, features are here. Some holes are here. Along with the guide way, some holes I am uh, showing. That's why, that's why this uh, problem I am selecting. So we have to see the object from in the direction of arrow X in this direction. How to draw it? Previously, I am showing that first you have to calculate the maximum dimensions. What are the maximum dimensions? 120 mm. And height is 35 mm. So draw the faint line of 120 mm. So in that, 60 mm, this portion is to be removed here. From So from this end, you have to travel 60 mm, make a line as a dark one. Huh? Vertical height is 35 mm. OK, this gap is given as, how much this gap? It is given as 15 mm. Okay. Then what is the vertical travel? Vertical you have to travel, downward travel is 10 mm. Hmm. Then this is a 10 mm and again it is a 15 mm gap. And what is the vertical height? Here 10 mm gap is from the 60 mm you have to travel 10 mm. Hmm? And up to 20 mm. That is total length is 120 mm. This is a portion which is parallel again. This 10 mm is 25 mm. And this width is 15 mm, it is given. So this shaded portion, when it is parallel to you in the direction of arrow, you have to draw as it is, front view. Now, it is our uh, third video. Now you think of that, which portion you have to remove, uh, uh, remaining here, you have to draw in the front view. Which topic, which portion is absent here? That is, these two circles are there, holes are here. So we need to see from the front view how to draw it. Yes, these we need to see from the front view. This hole is invisible. They are hidden one. They are invisible one. So how to draw it? If invisible portions are to be there, how to draw it? Draw as a dotted line. Okay. So first of all, locate their centers. Where is the center? From this end, it is a 20 mm. This is first center, and from this end, it is a 45 mm. So look at their centers. This is a 20 mm, and from this 65. So draw the center line first. How to draw the center line? Line dot line line dot line. Okay. So then you fix the center. Then you have to draw the uh, hole. That hole is invisible one. These are the, the surfaces, the end surface are here and end surface here. What is the diameter? Diameter is given as two holes of diameter 20. If diameter is 20 is there, radius is 10 mm. You have to leave 10 mm and 10 mm from both ends. Draw the rot line from top to end one because it is invisible one. So invisible hole you have to show it. Same thing for this hole. 10 mm, you have to travel 10 mm and 10 mm both ends. So this is the front view. Which topic remaining? 
this portion is there which is parallel this portion is there and this surface which one this face has a edge and it's expanded now you go for a top view in the top view calculate the maximum dimensions already the length is given 120 mm and this width is 60 mm so draw the frame line then that is our then draw the center line so center line is very important from the center line you have to transfer the distances calculate the measurements calculate the holes their ages so center line is very important so from the center line you have to travel 60 60 means 30 30 mm from the upward and 30 mm from the downward So first you have to complete the frame of the rectangle. In that rectangle you have to draw whatever you have to draw it. With, uh, we need to see the object from the top view. First of all start with this rectangle. Which portion? This one which is parallel to you. You draw as it is. Okay, This portion which will be there. Now, these two ends, when you have to go for this the ends one, this plane and this plane is parallel. This portion, it is imaginary up to here. This corner is imaginary up to here. You get a rectangle. You get the three rectangles. Now, it is a given 15 mm here, 15 mm here. So, from here, you have to travel 15 mm. And from here, you have to travel 15 mm. And the width is given as 15. From the top, you already have to draw it. Only draw the generators. Draw it. First block, second block, and this is the third one. Is it is there. So this portion is here. Now, which topic is remaining here? Again, two holes are there. The center line is already here. So locate the center line. What are the radius? Radius up to here. And it is parallel to you from the top view. So you get as a circle as it is with a given diameter. Same diameter is to be there. So whatever the plane or edge is parallel, you have to draw it. Now, one more line or edge is invisible here. Which one is invisible? Think over that. So just like in the previous one, I am explaining regarding this one. This edge, which edge? This edge, which is start to end. This edge, which is start to end. Around the top, it is invisible. So draw, it is a dotted one. front view and this top okay same thing for me to go for a side view draw the respective generators from the top view front view rotated uh, generators from the top view you get as a third angle position uh, side view right hand side view or uh, left hand side view thank you